Hello everybody, this is Frogman and uh, welcome to a brand new series on the channel. Today we're going to start playing Compact Claustrophobia. And yes, this is what we're going to replace Manufactia with for the time being. Compact Claustrophobia is a kind of a Skyblock-esque type pack where you are basically stuck in... Well, you start out, I should say, in a, the smallest compact machine, which is a 3x3 room. Uh, you're trapped, you have no idea how you got here, you're just kind of one of those, here's how we're gonna start the game, and here's how we're going to make things work. It's kind of like the, I believe, Stoneblock 2 had a compact machine, um, version or world play that you could play, and it's kind of similar to that. I did not play through that, I kind of played the normal Stoneblock 1 and 2, and just kind of had through and played with them. It is tech-based, and it is pretty much you just have to progress through the technologies that you get, and you try to advance through the various sizes of compact machines until you can finally get out. Now, there is a way of getting out, there's a way of beating the game, beating this pack, so we're going to see what we can do about trying to get to that point, but let's go ahead and start a new world. I've already played a little bit just so that I can get my head wrapped around how this is going to work, so the normal old do the let's play. Ooh, hey, I've got caps lock on, cool. Do the old normal let's play, and we're not going to have any other major changes need to be made, so let's see what happens here. Like I said, I did play just a little bit just to make sure I got the idea of how this is supposed to work because the uh, way you gather materials in this pack, at least in the beginning and all the way through a few of it, is rather interesting. So, I mean, it's not the hardest thing in the world to gather materials, but there is a step that you can miss really quickly. So we start out in a little bitty bedrock room. So put a torch up here so we can see what we can do. And this is the first tiny compact machine that we get. So... Let's grab our torch, let's grab our compact machine personal strengthening device and go inside for right now so that we don't have to listen to the fire and read on our quest book. So, questing. Questing is pretty simple. Everything is, we've got many chapters, multiple chapters to play with, so we have various, various levels that we're going to have to achieve. So let's go back up to the basic one here. So this is the base of the beginning. So this is the beginning chapter. There's a lot of things on how to just get through some of this stuff, and it will end once we get over to tiny, infinite tiny rooms, which I believe this is going to get us the next level or two of the larger compact machine, which I think is a 4x4. Four four. And yeah, it's a little bitty room. It's all it is is a 3x3 three three room, and this is where you start. So we're going to go ahead and start. It says stuck in a hole. This will allow us to get another personal shrinking device, and I really don't need a personal, another personal shrinking device. This is just letting you know that the pack author has a Discord, of which I have not joined yet, so I'm not worried about that. We'll uh, deal with that later. We have our beginning again. We found the way in, so if you, in case you wonder why you have an iPhone Y in your pocket inventory, just right-click it on that strange-looking block at the bottom of this dark and tiny room, or outside. Personal drinking devices are how you get in and out of these compact machines. So as we get to them, as we can see right here, we're back outside, we're back indoors, and I believe I can set the entry points if I right-click or shift right-click with the... the uh, personal shrinking device, this thing, that will set where you come into the machine or the room, which is very important to know because as we build these out, we're going to have spots where we don't want to be, you know, moving into, and if we forget to set the exit and the entry points, well, you might end up right smack dab in the middle of a bucket of lava or something that will probably try to kill you. So, Let's get on to the rest of the pack. So it says the real beginning. Hit the walls, left click to let out your frustrations, and perhaps some get of the perhaps get some of the things that's been hiding in the cracks. Yes, this is the kind of odd part about it. You hit the walls until you get a decent amount of stuff. So this is how we're going to gain our our resources is by beating on the walls. So there's not a whole lot of sieving. There is sifting later on that we're going to use to get a few things, but that is how we're going to do that. So this is also be able to pick up consume pipe. What? 
to also delete them after doing this. There's no reason to keep them around. There's also a keyboard for checking out the book if you want more of a person. Yes. So I'm not really worried about these. Some of these extra quests at the beginnings are just to get you started. So getting our hands dirty, we need a piece of dirt. And then we, as we saw, we got dirt by hitting the wall. We also get gravel chunks. And it's taking away our health by doing so. So we need to be able to not have to worry about that. So the first piece of dirt we're going to get, there we've got. Pretty simple, pretty easy. That allows this quest to happen, so now we've opened up a few things. We need to be able to get to some wood first so that we can get into the better methods of being able to gain materials. So how you do that? You take a piece of dirt and you right-click it. And if you're lucky, you're either going to get a sapling or a seed or something. And what I'm after right now is I want a seed at least. Well, that's good. We need that one as well. I would like a wheat seed. So we kind of just keep clicking. I mean, I can hit. I don't I don't really need to be getting a little bit more food just yet or should say more dirt. So we'll just do this a little bit more. Come on. I want some wheat seeds. Good old Minecraft RNG. Come on. Give me a seed. There we go. All right. Nice. So now we have a method of food and a method of being able to grow wood. And I would like to just get some wood right off the bat. Now this pack has the... Uh, the, the, the funny way of making things grow, which is these, these, this little process here where if you hold down shift while you stand on something, you're technically passing gas or farting on whatever it is that's sitting here. So if we can get this tree to grow up a little bit, we can get us a little bit better method of making resources. And it will also give us occasionally, <clears throat> excuse me, Occasionally, we will get a piece of poop that we can do something with. So, let's see if we can get a tree to grow. I know, it's it's riveting content. Wonderfully riveting content. Come on, bonsai tree. You get all versions of the bonsai trees. And the bonsai trees, when they grow up full, you get oak cuttings or wood cuttings that you can then make oak planks out of. That should have given us a quest, maybe? Yes? Oh, yeah, we need a crafting station, which we can do fairly simply. Crafting table, crafting station. Go up there. And this guy is actually, you know, these are very handy because you can use them as storage for your random junk that you don't need, which is fine. Come on, we need a little bit more tree so that we can get on into the next step. But we'll just go ahead and see what happens here. Maybe I can get some more dirt. Hmm. Let's see if we can do this. Another piece of dirt would be good at this point. Did we get enough? Where did I put all that? I've got three. Let's see if we can get one more before we lose our health completely. Okay, cool. Two pieces of dirt. That will work for now. Doot, doot. And there's another sapling and another sapling. And I'm just going to go ahead and plant the oaks for now. Come on. And we'll plant the wheat down there. And just kind of stand on it and try to get this stuff to grow. Again, it's kind of early, early, early game, as we all know about Skyblocks, is the early game grind. This is how the early ga grind, ga early game grind, good lord, is by playing this. So it's going to get a lot more interesting because we're in order to be able to do any kind of advancement, we're going to have to get a lot of stuff put in one or two of these little bitty compact machines. And it gets kind of fun to try to organize your your inventory and your manufacturing and your other the app there we go we got it uh right click on dirt blocks to turn them into fertile dirt not eaten yet what does it taste like well i don't know let's find out get ready for my favorite effect in minecraft Ugh. i hate nausea come on wood let's go but that at least did fill up our food bar and got us a little bit more there we go. Got tree. You're fully grown. Excellent. So the next part of the quest book that we need to be checking into is the tools section. So if we look at a wooden shovel, a wooden shovel is very handy because if you would look at a wooden shovel, if I can't spell, 
a wooden shovel has a use and if we look here we have a scavenge or a scavenge mod which tells us what we can do to be able to get various things so a wooden shovel is going to replace our hands for being able to get dirt and gravel so let's get a little bit of dirt and gravel going here i guess i can take all this out now i need to make a chest but we'll worry about that later we need some sticks and we will make some wood so make a shovel and we will also go ahead and make a pickaxe and get all of that down here ding ding all right push the button so that will get us the shovel that will get us a pick pick basically depending on how tough the things you hit the wall with you might be able to extract different materials perhaps wood although as soft is better than your flimsy hands of course it is why would we want to hit the walls with our hands that hurts Hammer time, we're going to be, this is the ex nihilo part where hammers are allowed, or make basically how we're going to make certain other things that we're going to sift or play around with. So, because of that, we can now get wood, a lot, wood, dirt and gravel a lot easier. So, we're going to get a bunch of dirt and some gravel here. Because there's one more thing we need to find. Picked up the dirt, thank you very much. Did we get all the gravel? Yes, we did. All right. You can also use the crafting area up here as storage, which is kind of neat. It doesn't, well, it was dropping. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Test world, it wasn't falling out of my uh, inventory. So let's see, we need to make some more dirt and we need to make that into gravel. And we need to do a little bit of coarse dirt because if we read over here, where are we? The beetroot seed, beetroot is... A good way to get red color, it's need for making wrenches and other things. Perhaps the seeds, maybe the seeds can be found in coarse dirt. So, like, if we look at beetroot, beetroot seeds, and we do the normal how do you get beetroot seeds, you should see in scavenge, it's going to be out, coming out of coarse dirt. And coarse dirt, again, is only going to be two things. So sugarcane seeds and beetroot seeds. If we can get both of those, we can kind of continue on doing things. And again, this is a right click with your hand. Excellent. And I'm just going to go ahead and wear them out because I don't need coarse dirt for anything other than that. So, come on. Give me the rest of it. Come on. Okay, cool. And then we'll go ahead and prepare this so that we can make a little bit of food. I love it. Inventory full of junk already. Come on. Where is my oak seeds? Do we have any more oak saplings? Oak, 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 oak. We do. Good. We need some more wood. Come in. And I think if I do this, it should grow underneath that. If not, I'll just take that and put it in my inventory. And we have some more coarse dirt, so we'll just work that over very quickly. Yes, I threw a rock. Come on. Come on. I don't need the rocks. Go away. We'll get the rocks in a minute. Well, that one doesn't want to change. <laughs> And go ahead and plant a little bit more food. And, and yeah, we'll just do some more food. Actually, we do need to plant those beet roots. So three more pieces of dirt now. One, two, get over here. Well, that didn't work. How did I do that? There we go. All right. Get this prepped up. There we go. And we currently have what? Two trees, three trees. Let's do this. We'll put the trees over here so that they are in one line so we know where our trees are we should have a beetroot right there so wheat for the rest of it and just kind of stand around and do this little part so let's look what do we have we need to be able to complete that little process i need to be able to try to get some cobblestone so let's get some cobblestone while we squat over our plants so that's as simple as taking a pickaxe and smacking against the wall i know it's kind of eh eventually we'll be able to automate this eventually we'll be able to do at least I hope we can automate this. I'm pretty sure I checked through some of the quests and there's a way to automate the actual collection of this kind of stuff. So get a little bit of materials here. I think that one's done. Has to be an open hand to harvest. It's annoying. Come here. Cool. That got our beet root. And I think, yep, that didn't give us anything major. 
We're getting along pretty well. We'll we'll fiddle along with this corner here in just a little bit. I did eat that. Thank you very much for the steak. And we need to get some cobblestone. Cobblestone, cobblestone, cobblestone. Cobblestone should just be stone pebbles. Thank you very much. Ding, ding. And that means that that's also capable for us to be able to get to the next layer or level of things. So let's make some more sticks. And we got three pieces of cobblestone. Yes, we did. On to the next pickaxe. So if we look in here. That should get us the next pickaxe. Pickaxe also opens up some of the other stuff. And of course, better than what you had before, iron ingots. If we smack this on the wall, as we can see, we're getting grits from immersive engineering, which is awesome. We're now into that point where we can make metals fairly quickly. All I have to do now is make a furnace to be able to cook it. So work on that a little bit here. Just serve some more cobblestone. Come on. I think it goes faster if you do it like this. Hey, we get granites. That's nice. I think most of this. Some of these we're going to be needing later on, especially I believe the diorite we're going to be needing later on. So let's go do this. A little bit more of that. How much more cobblestone do we have now? I'm just going to have to sit here and keep doing this and passing tail on my plants so that they'll grow. You're done. You're done. Good. Yeah, I don't think that one's going to grow because of where I have this. Which is fine. No big deal. I think the trees will grow under that. No, 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 no. Keep hitting the wall. You need to break some more stuff up. Very good. Okay. Ow. Alrighty, we're getting a little full, like always. So, we needed a bit more cobblestone. We're still needing a bit more cobblestone. We need one more. Let's make a one more. Wooden pickaxe. So that we can get that last piece of cobblestone. So we can cook things up and get on into materials that are better for mining things. So if you are going to be, or we are going to be needing to use at least the stone pickaxe. And the, you know, the higher tier pickaxes where there's a... Excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be able to need to use those higher tier pickaxes so that we can do a few things elsewise. So let's see. How much cobblestone do we have now? Twelve. All right. Ten cobblestone should ask for, I think, hang on, bag up. We have homebrewed, old tubby wood things. I don't think it's going to have a deal. We just need to be able to get one iron ingot. So let's make one iron ingot in a furnace. We're very quickly running out of room in here. And that's the problem that it happens with these <laughs> compact machines is you run out of room in them very quickly. So I'll put one of those. I don't think that works actually. No, we need to do this. Hey, thank you. Should have made sticks out of it, but whatever. Um, put a couple of pieces of wood in you for now. Where is that iron? Go ahead and cook that iron up for us. And we'll do a little bit of this while we're at it. How are you doing? Iron ingot. Ding, ding. Cool, cool. So then it's going to want us to make a hard pick, which will work our way down into some of this other cool stuff. So like the auto clicker requires us to get to this, and that is going to allow us to make hoppers, cash, hard hammering, better hammers. Um, I think just hoppers. They're, they're, they're asking us to do a few things. So we'll just go ahead and grab that one and do a little bit more here. See how much more goodness we can get out of it. Yes. Wonderful early game grind on a skyblock style pack. Awesome. Cool. Nice. What did we get out of that? What was the shiny one? 10. Okay. So let's go ahead and make, give me that wood back. Give me two pieces of wood and you can go ahead and cook up the, where did it go? Did I not get any? At, oh yeah, we were doing something else. All right, so let's go ahead and craft us up the iron pick, which I need to make some sticks first. Sticks. 
pick. Done. Yeah, isn't it iron pick? <sighs> funny, 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 funny. Hard pick, what the ladies want. Something to keep you warm is a mystical great pocket warmer. Don't mind any potential side effects. You get a Geiger counter, a red away, and we need a block of uranium. Block of uranium. And I am running out of room. How much of this? Let's see. Let's kick open the little bitty trash can. I do not want the birch or the acacia or the spruce at this point. And I don't want any of, I think we have enough dirt for right now. We can get rid of that. The diorite, the granite, I know I'm going to need some. I can get some as I need it. Uh, yeah, we'll put that away as well just to get rid of it. Just trying to make a little bit of room in my inventory so I can do some things. You, sir, cook that up, please. And where is our iron pick? Let's hit the wall and see what we get. All right, redstone, gold, uranium. I think we need at least nine pieces of uranium to continue to the next thing. One more. Come on. There we go. Cool. And I'm just going to pull that out of there, and you can cook those up. That's going to take a little bit. I guess while we're at it, we can just go ahead and beat the wall with this one for a little while. Because we need the uranium, which is going to be how we're probably going to end up powering the majority of the area for a little bit. So we'll switch over to the stone pickaxe and get a little bit more stuff. I kind of feel like this is a little easy right now because of the amount of materials that we're getting just by whacking the wall with a pickaxe. But we're eventually going to be able to automate this. And hopefully by the end of this episode, that's where we're going to be. So actually, how much wheat do we have? Probably should make some food. I'm not squatting like I should be. Hey, move down. Eat. Thank you. Yeah, so the trees will grow underneath those, so I may need to move the tree. Let's move this. Uh, yeah, I think I can just do that, right? Okay, ow. We'll put the tree over there, or put the uh, crafting bench over there, because I can still get to the tree under it so yeah it's just the plants don't want to grow underneath of things and I suppose I can probably just eat this thank you come on we're just waiting on you now pick all of our plants one more come on and Done. Nice. Now, I believe this has nuclear craft installed in it, which means we get to actually kind of have fun <laughs> playing with a mod that I haven't got to play with in quite a long time. I'm going to go ahead and eat those just to get rid of them for now. Something to keep you warm. So click on the correct button now. Back up. That's going to be here. Something to keep you warm. I need to, I, there's something about this one, I think. Ah, yes, choice reward, what do we want? Hazmat suit, headwear, hazmat suit, boots, or slow acting, rad away. I think we're just going to take that for right now. All of our stuff is all over the floor, wonderful. Let's go ahead and put some of this in here for now, since we have it readily available. And I guess, I, why am I carrying, how do I, wait, I thought I threw that away. Go away. You're taking up space. Bonsai oaks, we're good. Uh, beetroot seeds, all these kinds of seeds we're going to hang on to them. I guess I can get rid of you. We don't need you right now either. Cool. All right. Where are we? That got us to this quest being finished. So decay and growth, a decay generator, which is going to be nothing more than a little bit of lead and cobblestone. Uh, how do, well, that's one of those good things. How do we get lead? Lead, 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 lead is made by scavenging a solid compact machine wall with a stone pickaxe. Have we gotten any lead yet? We did. We got five of them. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four. I guess we'll wait on that and smack the wall with one of these. Let's see. We'll do that one since it's got the better stuff. Probably should actually do this so we can get another furnace going. I'm not squatting. <laughs> Gotta remember to squat so we fertilize our plants. 
because we need the wood. Tree, tree, tree. You're not quite grown yet. Wheat, hello. A little bit more. Where did I put that pickaxe? Inventory is a mess. Could make a chest. Don't really want to right now. Break that pickaxe and we'll be good. Okay. And again, I think I'm going to want to keep some of this now. So there we go with this. And a DK generator is that. Just needs some more cobblestone. We should be okay to make some cobble. Holy cow, with the mess in my inventory. Why don't you start cooking on something? I don't know what to be cooking on at this point. Let's just go ahead and... Well, shoot, I don't have any wood anyway, so we got plenty of wood. Let's do... Man, I have got a mess. Let's go over here and just throw this on the floor. Please. Oh, I needed that. Shoot. Give me that cobblestone. Give me that pebble. This, this. Just go on the floor so we have a little bit of room. Please. Thank you. More cobblestone. Awesome. DK generator. Go. Awesome. Awesome. Let's see here. We says it's going to absorb and produce power from all kinds of stuff. So basically this guy just uses um, up other types of materials like the block of uranium that we have. And it slowly over time decays this into something a little less, uh, what do you want to call it? Reactive. So it makes power doing, doing that while it does it. All right. So a little bit more to do. And I think if we can get one more thing done, I will be happy. Uh, how much of a pain in the butt is it to make a strong box at this point? How much of a pain in the butt? It's 10 ingots. Do we have four 10 ingots? We do. Okay, throw some of that in here. Just, out. Oh, that didn't work. Put that in there. And I need to make a few more sticks. So let's make a few more sticks. And do that. Put you in there. Sticks are probably the worst way to do that at this point. But we're going to do it that way. Go ahead, make some wood if I need to. Now we'll watch you for a second. While that's being done, we need to look at auto clickers. Auto clickers, auto clickers, auto clickers, auto clickers. Auto clickers are how we are going to automate. Auto clicker is how we are going to automate the way we do things. And as we can see, it's basically a stone variant of something. So that's why I kind of should not have thrown away all that stuff, but I think we can get that to work with the granite. We got a few of those now too. Sweet. Let's see if we can make a chest. Nice. And I'm going to put that in here and grab this tin. And we need to do this, 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 and that plus a chest gets us a strong box which I can put right there and put some of this stuff away for the minute. Don't need any of this. We are just inventory full of things and stuff. All right, so we need to get a little bit more material. So I'm just going to, I need to actually be hitting it with the other one. Not that one. We need a wooden pickaxe. What did I do with all the wood? It's in here. Where did I put the wood? Hello. Did we use up all the wood? Oh, great. Wonderful. Pickaxe, do that, do that again. We need a little bit more tree. Little more tree. Where are you, tree? So we can pick those. Can I eat anything yet? Nope. All right, cool. That should be enough to do that. We'll do here and that. I need a little bit more stone. Shouldn't have thrown away all that stuff. But we'll go ahead and wear this out against the wall and get a bunch of materials for us to be able to make one of those cool little auto clickers. And then I think we're going to end the episode at that point so that I can spend a lot of time just collecting resources because we need to collect lots of resources. So how much cobblestone? I have eight cobblestone. An auto clicker requires a machine casing. Modularium. Modularium is all of this wonderfulness, which we should have plenty of at this point. So modularium, modular machines are in the pack as well. So we can do this since we've already gathered all of the stuff up. 
and I'm going to need four of those. So yeah, we may not be making that thing today since we're getting close to the end of the episode. But I think what we will probably end up doing, I'm going to spend a bit of time just farming resources and possibly making a few more of these other little things that we need. And we can come back and craft this guy up. I may end up making a few caches just, just off, that, off the hat just so that we can do a few more storages. Because it's going to get pretty tight in here before we're going to be able to advance to the next level of stuff. What the heck was it doing? Weird. But anyhow, guys, I know it's a kind of an odd beginning and a kind of a weird little pack. We're going to go on and see how much fun we can actually have with it. And, yeah, try to get out of some of this claustrophobic little corner mess. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. Bye, guys.